Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about the new, only available in China, Lincoln Zephyr. I've had a lot of requests asking to share my opinion on the new Lincoln Zephyr, which replaces the MKZ, but sadly it's only available in the Chinese market. I'll be giving you my opinion on the interior, exterior, and a little bit about the engine options. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and show your support. I've reached my goal of 1,000 subscribers, and now my goal is to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of next year, so please help me out. I do YouTube for fun, and I enjoy sharing my opinion about various different cars. Anyways, let's get on with the video, shall we? Starting off with the exterior looks on the new Zephyr, I really like what they did in the front. The grille is very unique looking and I really like the continuous look from the headlight to the Lincoln emblem. I certainly like it more than the 2017 to 2020 Lincoln MKZ front end because this one has its own unique look and I really can't think of any other car that looks similar in terms of the front end. I really like the wheel pattern as well. It adds to the overall look of the vehicle for sure. Looking at the side, this is where it gets a little controversial for me because when I first saw this picture, I immediately thought about the Jaguar XF. Yes, it looks like the new Audi A7, but I think it looks more like the Jaguar XF, especially the way the taillights kind of curve downward on the side. Here's a picture of the Jaguar XF for those of you who don't know. Other than that, the side profile of this car is just so sexy. It does go for a sloped look like the MKZ. The hidden door handles look great and the Zephyr nameplate on the front passenger side door is a nice attention to detail. I don't think this one has the full panoramic roof like the Lincoln MKZ did, but um, yeah, otherwise I think it looks very nice, very sleek looking design, especially from the side view. Moving on to the back, I think the back end looks nice and it suits the car overall. But I really wish Lincoln would have done something different because it looks too much like the Audi A7 back here. Here's a picture of the current Audi A7. It would have been nice to see a different looking rear end, but then I realized that the Lincoln Aviator kind of follows this taillight design. So I think this is the design language Lincoln is trying to go for and eventually we may see this in their other products as well. Also, I noticed that there's no visible tailpipes back here, which looks very odd, but every car manufacturer these days are doing this, so I don't really know. I'm just not a big fan. But overall, I love the exterior design of the Zephyr. It's sleek looking and it's definitely my style of car. I can definitely see myself purchasing this car after convincing myself it doesn't look like an A7 or an XF. Jokes aside, I can see myself purchasing this car based on the exterior looks if it was here in the North American market. Moving on to the interior, I have to say this is a beautiful, well-crafted interior. The materials look great. I see a lot of stitching going on on the seats, which look premium. I know you folks are going to hate me for this, but I just don't like the big screens. It's just too much for me and it's disappointing to see cars just overloaded with crazy tech like that. I'm a very simple guy and this just seems to be a bit too gaudy for me. This would most likely be a deal breaker for me if I was a buyer. Anyways, getting back on track, I like the piano key gear shifters. Other Lincolns have it now and it's an interesting and unique way to incorporate a gear selector. I noticed that for the HVAC controls and volume, there seems to be what looks like a metal switch, which I'm so thankful to see. It's better than going through screen menus or tapping on a hat haptic feedback system for volume and HVAC controls. Props to Lincoln for keeping it real. I really hope the buttons on the steering wheel is actually a button and not a haptic feedback system crap. I also noticed that the wiper stock looks identical to my 2019 MKZ, which is pretty cool. The steering wheel looks different. It's definitely not your typical four spoke design. It looks good though, and it's definitely unique to the car's interior. The picture shown here seems to be a sport trim version of the new Lincoln Zephyr, 
It's comparable to the MKZ with the white and black seats, but these seats look very comfortable. It's a mix of what looks like suede and leather. I really dig this color combo. The rear seats look nice. There seems to be a lot of leg room and the seats look very padded and comfortable. I really wish I could try out these seats. I'm not sure what it is, but on the ceiling, I noticed what looks like a fold down mirror. It's more commonly seen in larger luxury sedans, but it's here. It's either that or it could be a speaker grill. Speaking of speakers, the Zephyr uses a Revel sound system in this particular trim. Lincoln pretty much uses Revel in all their cars now, and it's a fantastic sound system. The only engine option available is a 2 liter turbo 4 cylinder rated at 235 horsepower and 255 pound feet of torque. Its top speed is expected to be 140 miles per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 6.2 seconds. There are rumors that there's a hybrid system on its way, but we'll see. If you know me, I don't like turbo engines, I prefer naturally aspirated power. I'm very curious to see how reliable these Zephyrs are. Overall, I think this new Zephyr is a big step forward compared to the MKZ. It's a sleek looking machine, just like the MKZ, but better. Would I ever buy this car? I'm going to have to say no for now. This is because, like I mentioned before, I really don't like the big screen and the interior. It's just too much for me. Another reason why I won't buy this car is because there's no engine options that I like. I'm a long term guy. I think reliability, so knowing that this has a turbo 4, likely direct injected, it's not a recipe for reliability in my opinion. I'd rather buy the hybrid version of this vehicle if it comes out. Let me know what you guys think about this car. Would you ever buy it? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you all next time.